What's been going on? We're back here with Omori R.E.X. Playthrough. Episode 9. Having so much fun. Don't know where that came from. Anyway, <laughs> with the previous recording, why doesn't it show it anymore? There it is. We actually crossed over uh, 100 hours of playtime on the whole game, which is quite a milestone. How about a few more? So this uh, this time, Humphrey is the overall ob objective and like cornerstone that this episode is going to revolve around. Milestone, not cornerstone. We're going to get through the Humphrey fight. Uh, the hum that's, well, I guess the Humphrey fight, yeah. But the Humphrey dungeon is what I meant. Um, and then after that, I think we'll stop right before Black Space, probably. Oh, there's a face end end up here. How did I only just notice that? It's a good thing I picked here to monologue at you. Otherwise, we'd have never seen that. Um, give me those jam packets there. Hop up the shroom. Then hop back, down and go zoom, 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 zoom. Do a savey in case things go bad. So getting to the end of hum the Humphrey dungeon. Uh, so like I was saying before, I believe there's a, a, a seek an optional fight you can do with Hero, if I understand correctly. At some point, you go back to Last Resort for that. And I wasn't able to the last time we tried, so I figure it happens after Humphrey. Um, and I know there are... I Well, I think there are three optional fights you can do in Humphrey. I can't remember if you have to have completed the Humphrey dungeon and then go back in for them. I'm not certain. But those are things that we're probably going to be finding out this episode, but I'm also going to be skipping over a lot of it, uh, as a lot of it is stuff that we already saw in the main playthrough. Although I believe, not unlike Cat's Cradle, I missed some lore stuff that could have happened in this very colorful area we are currently entering. So I won't be skipping absolutely everything, but I'll be zipping through it. <laughs> I love the sign sound design every time anything goes all underwater. What I seem to remember someone saying in a comment a while ago that I've completely forgotten who it was or what they said, my apologies, but... Someone was saying that there was some, like, bit of coral or something that you could speak to that I walked right past, basically. So now I'm, like, anxiously checking every bit of seaweed and everything. A creature mumbles gibberish. Oh, wait, did I have to be him for this? Yes. Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another one must be shrouded. And yet, all memories will eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed. The Curse of Deeper Well. Right, I should definitely be Omori for this bit. No idea which of these portals takes us forward, so I might do it by accident. Oh, hello! Food! Rain cloud! <laughs> what a sad thing to find underwater. What if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, dreamer. You are the only one who can. It is selfish to dream for so long when there are others who are expecting you. Time will always move forward. Eventually, the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, dreamer? The universe is full of questions that you will never answer. Yet, there are also the ones that only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what will you do? Some interesting ambiguous phrasing there. When the truth is revealed makes it sound like when you're going to learn something, but if you've played the game, you know what, what they what they mean is <laughs> when everyone else learns what you know. When trouble shows itself, there is always the choice to run, but one day you may very well find yourself running alone. It's mostly just the little critters that we uh, that are animated that we can talk to around here. Like this one. It's kind of like a melted Aubrey. With time, what is important will change. You must choose what you will keep and what you will cast away. Not everyone has that choice. Oh, I only just realized that this bubbly background is the same as the one we fell through earlier in one of the uh, little hole events, so to speak. Humans are bounded creatures. Your limits are what define you. What makes you human? It should have been what makes you human. As in, what, defi what binds you is the question being asked. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Ah, right, the hands on the wall. Good place for hands. I wonder how intentional it is that if you're swimming through a zigzag path like this, your movements are eventually going to sync up with the music. Feels like it could be intentional. Oh, everyone fully got into cutscene mode for this. A long time has passed since you have ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. You have questions that I can answer. Answers that you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. <laughs> the big hill. <laughs> My lost friend. You would like to know more about your lost friend? Yes. The friend you have lost is not in this world. The day he was removed, he was reborn elsewhere. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. He cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way that is natural for this world. For headspace. This journey is nearing its end. You already know what you have to do, Dreamer. Find some keyboard keys or something? Is there anything else you would like to know more about? Sure! I will lay them out for you. Them what? 
The else? The big yellow cat? What's up with that? You would like to know more about the big yellow cat? Yes, please. Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. The oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he has evolved into a parasite within himself. Who the hell you call a parasite? He lives here, just beyond this cavern. Okay, I thought that was directed at me. Sorry. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act that opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act that is not even known to me. As a result, she was stripped of her wisdom and banished to isolation. A special prison, somewhere deep, deep down. The last and favorite, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite even to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. Anyway, does that about cover it? No, that was super vague. What the hell are you talking about? Fine, just tell me about white space so I can leave. You would like to... I'm not terribly fond of your tone. Shut up and talk to me. All right, geez, little Tessie today. To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive but not to live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form... It will take the form, and if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb, the repression of an idea. Yes. Perhaps it is time to admit that you are human, dreamer. You have listened well. I have granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There is a challenge that will aid you greatly in this world. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take this opportunity? That doesn't seem very nice. I see you have chosen another path. However, my offer remains open. If you'd like to grow much stronger, speak to me again. I mean, that does sound like something I probably should do. I just would rather save first, if the offer's gonna remain open. I'll, I'll head to the next picnic basket. I don't really want to sacrifice this big coral tree. In spite of my role-playing as being a <laughs> cantankerous little shit, uh, the tree was actually being pretty helpful. Is this where we get the title card of Deeper Well, or is there no, uh, there's no title card for this bit? I think not, but I'm pretty sure we didn't talk to that, uh, tree before. I think I walked up to that area, and I, like, examined the swing, and I was like, okay, I guess that's nothing. I didn't think that walking to the right and <laughs> poking the tree would have anything happen. But I was wrong. There is a Mario picnic basket somewhere around here, right? Before we carry on to the next bit. An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? Uh, you guys are asking me a lot of questions. Give me like 10 minutes to think, please. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> somewhere right in here is the next picnic blanket, right? Before you actually do, oh, there's a, well, there's a basket anyway. Right, let's save here and go uh, see what they were talking about. It kind of sounded like it sounded like there was a fight going on, although they also kind of said like it wouldn't take any thought or something like along those lines. All right, I'm here for the sacrifice. Everyone, get behind me in a line. <laughs> I see you have returned. I will tell you again. There's a there, yep challenge. Let's do it. Sorry about your sacrifice, but hey, this could be a steam achievement. I understand. Stand very still, dreamer. Is this the challenge? Standing still for this long? I shouldn't be talking, should I? Um... Alright! Just descending into the blood hole. That's what I am trying to do with the rest of my day. How deep in the blood hole will we go? Who knows? The only way to find out is to go. Alright, um... Can't tag anyone. Oh, the music is kind of nice here. Lots of hands. Uh-huh. An apple hanging from a tree. Is this going to be one of those... Rhetorical apples. Oh, it's my head! Or Sonny's head, even. A red, juicy apple hangs from this tree. Would you like to eat the apple? Nah! That's a head! Wait, can I leave? Would you like to abandon this challenge? No, okay, but apparently eating my head is the challenge. Understood, understood. Bleh, it creeps me out. It's like, it's like when head comes out of... It's like when Spoiler's head comes out of the spoiler machine at the end of Spoiler 2. Alright. Ah, start with the ears. Ah, ah. No bones there. Nice and chewy. That's the good stuff. Ugh. Oh, I didn't love that noise. Ugh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Bad noises are occurring. And now I'm drowning in blood. Sorry? Didn't cast that. Could you speak up, please? Right, well. Now I know what brain tastes like. 50 heart juice and 10 attack attack. Oh, he just levels up in everything. 
Good. That's what I was just thinking. We needed a bit more... Okay, well... A branch coral. It is not alive. Damn! It didn't even get a steam achievement. I don't want that. Let's just load without that. We don't need the, <laughs> the 50 heart and juice. Stay alive, coral. Gosh golly. And we are here we are at Humphrey at last. Right you are, Humphrey. I often find I uh, get where I'm going by moving away from where I've been. Oh, a mirror. Let's have that happen, shall we? Look how warmly my friends smile behind me. Oh, and we can have a picnic here. Yay! You guys, we can't relax right now. We have a puzzle to solve. Aren't you guys afraid the bomb's gonna explode? Just relax, Aubrey. We got this. This room's full of the smartest people I know. That, that doesn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> the lady on the screen said she set it up for her sister, right? She wouldn't really let it explode on her sister. I don't know, Cal. Aubrey's right. We're in unfamiliar territory. It's probably better to play it safe. What do you think we should do, Mari? Huh? Oh, uh... I think you should do what your heart tells you. Thanks, Mari. I can always count on you. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> she was not listening. <laughs> As Kel had said earlier, if that ain't the most half-assed answer. There was someone who offered a Humphrey hint back there. Which maybe there's an achievement associated with, but I kinda assume not. Unsettling noises happen when you hit those levers. <laughs> so if I multiply the results of by infinity divided by zero, then carry the one that would bring me to an imaginary number. Go on, Omori. You can do this. Okay, if you're sure, Omori. <laughs> Just be careful! I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fla <sighs> I was sure you guys were gonna pick me. <laughs> be careful! I don't trust this guy one bit. Watch your step, okay? If it gets too serious, I'll back you up. Is this your idea of backing it up? I don't feel the hump backs up. You're very cavalier about walking back across the buttons that were just primed to explode a bomb. I would, I would, even if I thought that I'd solved it, I wouldn't, wouldn't walk back across the buttons. Cheapers, some guts this kid's got. I just remembered that one. Good. Ah uh, yes, the first sexy scientist serial killer siren. Speaking with sweetheart. Surreptitiously. I'm preparing the engines for our exciting new attraction, but it's not ready. You should come back later, like tomorrow later. I wonder if that actually means... I was gonna say if it actually means the next in-game day, but... At the end of this in-game day is when you do Black Space, so I don't suppose I could come back at that time. Maybe it just means after Humphrey. So I'm given to understand there's a way to battle with all three of the sweetheart creations, essentially. I assume... <laughs> it involves ending up in a certain room at a certain time that which may mean after the Humphrey fight is over I think you're allowed to go back into Humphrey once that's over uh, But I'm not 100% sure so I may I may end up missing it the first time if it's something that's missable and having to reload an earlier save Which is fine. That's why we're keeping all the old saves just so you're prepared if this video ends up being a lot of backtracking I thought that's just the one shirt we're using as a sail and it's somehow working Another picnic scene to have here? Sorry, <laughs> I promise I won't do that every time. No, I don't. I can't promise that. Right, this gelatin is delicious. What's it made out of? Gelatin? It's made out of gelatin. <laughs> I'm not sure, Kel. I've just been scooping it off the walls and the floor. Do you like it? You... What? <laughs> just kidding. I made it by mixing fruit. And, um... Gelatin. Okay, yeah, but... What's gelatin made out of? Bones. Well, Cal. Gelatin. Gelatin is made out of gelatin. I see. Well, whatever. Food is food, I guess. <laughs> uh, hmm. <laughs> well, it's not made of bones as such. It's scraped off of bones, I think. A dubious concoction. Probably best left untouched. Mario, you didn't happen to scoop the gelatin out of this jar, did you? It does say it's best left untouched, probably. Biology is my worst subject, but it never stopped me. This one's fake, right? Yeah. Watch your step. Some of the spilled liquids are not meant to be, meant to be touched by humans. You can tell my is mad because she'll pace back and forth. She'll never yell at you. But still, it's pretty scary. It sounds scary. <gasps> Face indent! Why yonk? Give me damn jam package. Yeah, hold on. Yammers. According to my calculations, reading makes you smart. Why, yes, my greatest masterpiece, ha ha. Change the accents like six times. <laughs> that is where the food falls from the sky and you have to fight. Ah, 667, right? 
Well, that was hardly fair. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm doing a lot of whacking of Humphreys. Um, was I supposed to do this? Am I doing a bad or a good? Oh god, things are happening. <laughs> they're getting like oscillated between dimensions. Oh no, they're just they're just transforming and being weird. That's fine. Nothing unsafe about that. Fun, as the billboard says. Game over here. It's game. Match three guys for a. Oh, I see. Let's make them all red lumpy then. Never mind. Let's make them all upside down because I accidentally did that. Not blue. Not blue again. <laughs> Pixelated is close. Pixelated is still close. You're getting there. You're get. Yeah, that's the one. Prize. It's game. You got onion ring. I got, huh? Who huh? says for hero maybe? It's not a hero weapon. Is it an accessory? It is. Just one. Hard <laughs> plus twenty. Juice plus twenty. Right? Wait. Does that mean if I match three over here, I get a different prize? Maybe it does. Uh, right. Let's go for blurry then. Not deep fried. Not whatever that is. Not backwards. Blurry, yeah, that's the one. Nice, nice, nice. Not swirling vortex face with no eyes or nose. Well, he never had a nose. Not corrupted beyond a recognition. No, please get your eyes back. It's still, you're not really getting the whole eyes having part of this. All right, saturation uh, up to max. That's not what we want. Neither we don't want deep frying. No, but you're on the right track. Just do do anything but the ones you're doing, and then you'll be there. You're do, you're so close. You've just you've tried everything but the one that we really need. You're you're getting there. You're getting there. All you gotta do is is hang tight to your. Yup. I only just noticed that Kel's eyes are weird in this little preview. Like, one of them looks, like, kind of squished up. It's just the way the pixel art works, anyway. Uh, if you could be blurry, please. That would be neato. That would be neato mosquito if you could... Wow, you really just don't like being blurry like like the rest of them, do ya? Can you maybe not be blurry? Maybe, maybe you just don't have that capacity. Let's try mouthless. Surely they've all got the mouth... Or the eyeless. Should leave a oh, now you're gonna be blurry. Okay, well, fine. There we go. <laughs> you got a whole pizza. Yay. Worth it, I guess. You can't beat this and me. I'm going all in. I'm calling your bluff. You can't fool me, me. I fucking love air conditioning. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> 100 hours of gameplay. Over 2,000 uploads on this channel. <laughs> And we finally got, I fucking love air conditioning. It's just, it's just a good day, man. I just feel, it's like, this is what it's all about. You know what I mean? And if I'm not mistaken, then every subsequent time you talk about it, <laughs> don't they never say it again? I'm reading a book about air conditioning. It's very informative. It's, it's, that's it's something to do with your WTF value. You have a chance of, of this person saying that the first time you talk to them and never again. So it's a optional encounter that can only happen if a random value was selected randomly at the beginning of the game and it still only happens once so it's it's like perfectly designed such that if you read that and you were, did, weren't recording or anything you'd be like what the hell did that say and go back and and not be able to prove that that's what it said basically oh that's i guess you reloaded your save that's so brilliant though I'm trying to relax, but I can't stop thinking about this cool book I read about air conditioning the other day. I'm not going to go over there, because then Snaily will jump into the goop, and we don't necessarily want that. So there's one key on this route that I'm pretty sure about, and as well as some Humphreys that we want. The appendix, right? It doesn't do anything, right? I'll be having that key there. <sighs> I would really appreciate it if you guys could wrap this up pretty soon. <laughs> no rush, no rush. I just think I'm getting kind of sick. You're welcome to stay on the dock if you want. Oh, the Yuki. Spooky. Still hasn't colored in uh, Deep Well really at all. I didn't, I thought that we had gotten it at least partially colored earlier. Hmm. Maybe it's, uh, it's only like when you start getting the important keys that it starts coloring in. Not sure. Yeah, both legs now. You barely walk for Humphreys around here. That one's just slowly spinning around. Oh no, this one ain't experiment. 667 just yet. I love that it cracks in the shape of a heart. Have I mentioned that before? Probably. These humans care nothing for me. This cannot be my destiny. We dreamed of creating the most powerful sweetheart, and we succeeded. Ugh. 
I don't like her. <laughs> so I kind of imagine there's some way to get into this room proper. Although she disappears when you do. When you, when you leave, I mean. So maybe, like, they show up somewhere else in Humphrey or somewhere else around the world or something. But I was pretty sure you could fight against these uh, sweetheart clones at some point. Up here must be the way with all the clubbing and the giant murder catting. If you are enjoying the exhibit, feel free to crawl into a cage and wait for the next available experiment. You will know when the screaming stops. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe if I weren't on the clock. Poke. Hee <laughs> hee. That tickles. <laughs> Pet. Ta-da! <laughs> you should hit a cartwheel! Pet. Good thing. Mm, petting is cool, but I like handshakes better. <laughs> oh, very well. Poking is kind of like a handshake. There are more fingers involved, arguably. Poking is cool, but I like high fives better. Okay, sorry. Sorry to waste your time. It sheds a single tear and grievously explodes. I remember seeing that before. Just a brain in a jar, nothing special about that. Pet? Ah, who did that? Show yourselves! Poke? Ah, uh, what? Who's there? Sorry. Sorry for making things confusing and upsetting for you. Let us picnic here. Dang, what happened here? This place is a huge mess. Achoo! Now the furniture looks really dusty. It's probably been like this for a while. Looks like it used to be an office or something. Wasn't this supposed to be a lair full of sea witches? None of this stuff looks witchy at all. I mean, we are basing this off Sweetheart sources. I don't know if I would trust Sweetheart, much less her sources. We gotta stop Sweetheart. She's definitely up to no good. I mean, we've already seen some of the no good she's up to. We do? I mean, we can always mind our own business. No, we can't. <laughs> oh, is that what we're doing now? Protecting the world from evil. How fun! What does protecting the world from evil have to do with Sweetheart? Have you met her? <laughs> Have you met her? She is evil! Fair point. Well, I guess someone's gotta do it. <laughs> now, oh Morty, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Wow, sis, this is a weird place to set up a picnic. Well, let me tell you. It may be recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like in forests or campsites, but where's the fun in that? What if I want to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind, oh Morty. I need, to set, I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. <laughs> Ouch. Not undeserved, I guess. For one of a few reasons. Fifth experiment, I missed one. Damn. Uh, Pat, poke! Ooh, my candies! <laughs> what am I? It feels good to be acknowledged. Alright, alright, sorry, I missed I missed number four somewhere along the- Oh, you're number four! No, you're number three! Wait, so, gosh, tablet! I guess we're just number four. Something bad happened to number four, never mind. Either that or they didn't stay in the order they already were. Sixth experiment. Balloons and magic. <laughs> there, there, there. Oh. Right, probably should have poked first, huh? And uh, they're treating them like they're like failed researchers when they've done some pretty wild stuff already. How they could not make money with all this stuff is beyond me. I'm Marina's seventh experiment, though the numbers do get muddy at this point. She made me out of birds when she was just a teenager. There, there. Quack. <laughs> this contributes to my abounding happiness. Poke? This makes me rife with anger. Sorry, let me pet to sort of round that out. There we go. Two two rights makes a right. Your Marina's eighth experiment. Uh, if you could just hold off there, lab rat, for a minute. I'm in the middle of talking to someone. Probably. She made me out of moss and beans buds when she was just a teenager. Uh, pet, there you go. Good thing. Nah. <laughs> That's all. I was really expecting a, a follow-up to that, but just... Nah. Now get out of the way so I can poke this thing and see what response that elicits. Boink. Nah. <laughs> okay. A dubious concoction, probably best left untouched. I don't want to know why that syringe is so green, do I? This is the bit where you get like a blender and it teaches you a skill in the middle of while you're running away, right? They couldn't have waited until after the room to be like, by the way, that, that, <laughs> that item you picked up gave you a skill. It's like, hey, why are you running away? I, I didn't want you to know it. Picking up that blender taught you un invaluable skills. I maybe wasn't supposed to just tap the glass like that, was I? <laughs> yeah, probably not. It's fine, there are no lasting consequences for neck breakage by giant monster. Oh, I can smash the glass here. That's cool. Don't know why, but I did it. He learned refresh. There he goes. H-E-L-L-O. I am the... Yeah, well, I probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> 
I almost got away, and I'll thank you to remember it. <laughs> oh, I lost all the items I gained the first time, huh? I have to get them back, even though the, the lumps are gone. That's weird. Well, it's not even chasing after us. What's the big hurry? Oh, it is. It's got a bowling ball all of a sudden? <laughs> That's new. And hot dog, right on cue. Save our lives. Wow, Clonk. Hot dog. Oh no. <laughs> it kind of seems like maybe something they would do is those three sweetheart clones would end up in different worlds. Like one would end up in Pyrefly Forest when another one one in Orange Oasis or something. Just they, they, they would just end up roaming there after this mission and maybe they don't actually return to Humphrey, but as I say, I'm not sure. I almost definitely missed uh, here too. So I've missed Zed at uh, the past the end of the road. Go to the way, I think maybe you just get that one at the end. Because it's one of the imperative ones. Caption a steel trap. I'm certain on the place there's somewhere in this whale where there are conveyor belts. Where was that actually? Oh, surely it was right. Cause I, cause I guessed the password, right? So I didn't even bother going along the road that with the blue one. No, 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 the green one. Whichever one has, is the password, I didn't even go along the actual conveyor belt you're supposed to. Yeah, 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 this way, this way. Somewhere around here it is. Oh, right, we're all dying from the neck snappage. Oh, that won't be an issue. I'm probably, we'll probably just knock it out before they kill Omori here. Yeah, no issue. Oops. Note to self, don't try and fast forward the process. Otherwise, you will skip things. Mailbox is not as much damage as the bust, right? It's like the in-between thing. It's a bit less damage, but a bit more accuracy, which doesn't matter considering we got her with an accuracy bumping thing. <laughs> Threw french fries at us. <laughs> Here's our V. Hat walk! Doink. Oh. What'll it add next? A mouth, a nose, some eyes. I think that's an eye. Past the end of the road. That was surely in, uh, b b before Humphrey, right? I missed that somehow else. I could have sworn I remember getting that one. I thought it was just right at the end of, um, like where the highway ends. I thought it was just like in that same like 10 square space somewhere. So G Z Y W T. I seem to remember W and T both like it, it, it gives you both of them at the end if you didn't get them because they're story crucial. So we probably don't need to worry so much about them anymore. I think I think maybe W, you do have to complete the whale chapter. That's the only way to get it. But T, there's another way to get it beforehand. But if you happened to not, then it just gives it to you anyway, I think. Z, Y, and G are the ones I'm, I'm really missing at this point. Oh, face indent. Oh my god, look at all the stuff in this here. Spaghetti, 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 sp jam packets. That's the one. Looks like a key card I could have. <laughs> Maybe not. Doesn't. I don't appear to be able to grab anything off the conveyor belt. Oops, sorry. Dungeon is actually a lot shorter than I thought. It only, since the beginning of this episode, which is even before we got into the dungeon, it's only been an hour and 18 minutes. Granted, I've been skipping a lot of stuff that we already knew about. And mercifully, once again, we get to skip all the scenes that are pre-boss fight, which I assume includes this one. Yes, it does! Thank you, game designers. Because that's a pretty long scene, too. This one could have some uh, challenges even on um, us being at level 50, because they have a move that swaps your health and mana, which is... That's not related to your what your actual like attack and defense stats or anything. It's just you die. <laughs> well, you, you know, you, you could be severely hurt if your mana is low, so... Let's hope we don't reach that point, but we maybe just will destroy them so fast that it won't be an issue. Sorry, any other day I'd really love to go along with whatever sadistic plan you have in mind. But we have to 100% things, you understand how it is. Can't do any sexy scientist femtom stuff right now. I have to stab you. Look, this is gonna hurt you almost as much as it will hurt me. Oh yes, a chainsaw, the sexiest of all murder weapons. I'm having so much fun, they say, getting angry. So something about that doesn't seem right. Tickle, 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 man! Cal is a, a very nimble fellow if he can tickle three people at once. No, no less people who are like twice his height. <laughs> oh, just beating the crap out of Hero. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hero really is drawing the short end of the stick in a whole lot of this. Yes, heart and juice were swapped, which is only really an issue for Aubrey there. Since I uh, spammed some stuff with her and she doesn't have a high juice count to begin with nor defense for that matter, but uh, this where they're nearly gone anyway, so it barely matters. And they're uh, mercifully neglecting to use any of their uh, group attacks at the moment, so. It ain't no thing. Oh, there they go. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it won't be a problem. See, no problem. <laughs> How could this be a problem? Cal just has to one tap them now. Oh, hey, what? No, stone. <laughs> You're so, you almost won the fight. That's not all right. Oh, God, how did that not take them out? Okay, there we go. <laughs> yeah, as boss fights go, their rules are all just weird. They're like, oh, and then we get an extra move, maybe? Or, and then, oh, and by the way, maybe we 
Maybe we got maybe other stuff as well. Oh wait, can we go over here and do other stuff before we carry on? Oh, cool. I was always just trying to run away. The door's locked. Well, that's no fun. Oh, maybe this is how you get to their labs to do the other optional fights after. But it's not it's not a thing for right now. Molly only gets one statue. Oh, right, because they, yeah, they, they sold the other one, so to speak. Let's have a moment of silence for the sexy dominatrix octopus people. It's a sad day when you have to lose the great talents like them. Scientists, no less. Heroes hotter. Bring it on, whale face! <laughs> I imagine before how funny I find it that that can miss, right? I'm gonna club the hell out of you from the inside and make no mistake. <laughs> Did almost as much damage as Aubrey does, but nah, she's still, <laughs> she's still the the muscle of this group. No matter how good our follow-ups get, Kel is just loving this. He's having a good time. <laughs> Damn. Getting deja vu like I've said this before, but that like... Like humming eerie synth in the background reminds me so strongly of uh, either Link to the Past or Four Swords. One of the Zeldas, anyway. Also, does anything happen if we just guard in this in this fight rather than actually fight? If we don't do anything, could it like actually fight back or anything? It smirks at Cal. You are nothing but meat, so please let me eat you! It's not part of the plan, but I am a little curious if your dialogue carries on from there. Now, maybe if it was Molly we were talking about. But never mind that. Do not attack me, food stuff! It is ineffectual! This is why I shouldn't play with my food! Does this happen a lot? <laughs> Any of this? Yum yum yum! It's time for grub! I don't think you understand the order of operations here. The stronger prey on the weaker! Don't you know? That's biology! Please wait to be digested. There is a cue, so you'll have to wait. Service here is lousy. Do you see anyone else struggling? Behave yourselves, food stuff! You're not familiar with silence theory, are you? Alright, now it's looping. Right. Uh, get whacked. 10,000, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, see, the W and T came shooting out. Don't know where I would have gone to find the T if uh, I had the choice. So let's look at some whole events, and we'll also have the all the keys re re requisite to go to. Black space now. You don't suppose anything interesting happens if I, like, leave without those keys, do you? Because at this point, Mari no longer has the Basil quest, right? Because Omari's trying his hardest to forget. Right, you're just allowed back into this dungeon, so there's no harm there, I guess. Oh, no, this is something completely different. Let's have a look-see before we get those keys, then. You have come again to seek the truth. Each time, your adventures may be disparate, but as your journey nears its end, it will always lead you back here. The truth. The truth is always the same. Yeah, ain't too much change in that. That's one of those siren friends of yours is gonna... Well, they're dead. I was gonna say if they could build a time machine, but... The path to the truth was once here, but it has been removed. It was moved to a lighthouse in a pier. Then to a library banished deep underground. And after that, to an old barn on a distant planet. And this time, it will be in the heart of a vast forest. Where Basil's house is at now. So that lighthouse that we saw with all the, with like, uh, Sunny's family portrait scratched out was once a home of Basil in this place? No matter how many times the path is concealed, the flower boy will always find it. And your dear sister Mari, she will always guide you to it. Even as hollow shells, they will continue to evolve. And each time they will grow wings and fly too close to the sun. It is their nature. They are the only ones who know. And one has carried it with her to her grave. Those chattering noises in the distance. I keep thinking there's someone talking to me from that direction. And there's nothing in that direction but a window. So I'm like, how is that? <laughs> Throwing my head for a little loop. Death may be no danger here, but the memories of them do not fade so easily. Many times your friends have met with an unfortunate fate. Although they are revived time and again, the most haunting stay in this world. Oh, the most haunting stay in this world, even if only their bones remain. The long lost ones sink here, to the bottom of the deep well, and become nothing. You have forsaken them, yet they still yearn for your care. Their souls know nothing but how to scream for help. Do you take pity on them? I thought you just said they would never disappear, and then you were just like, well, they go went down here and faded. I guess you're meaning they'll never disappear in my conscience. Your dear sister Mari with a bad knee... You could not bear for her to die again, so she was given the safety of a picnic blanket. Yet it is her nature to leave and to protect. And when she does, she will leave you again and be born anew. With the undying soul that you have cursed her with. Well, this is certainly something we didn't do. The souls assigned to your friends. 
They are fragile and must be protected, and so they must remain asleep. Yet, the path of the truth is closer to your most precious room than ever before. Will you be able to bury it this time? Perhaps it is too late for you. We're going to find out. There's that window again. But this time while we're swimming in very, very pink and unsettlingly re occasionally red water. The wall is just kind of hands in many facets. Right? You know... Oh, that's so cool how when it turns the shade of blue. You can still see your friends, but they're much harder to distinguish from the background. Whereas Omori is about the same. You know of the keys to the other realm. They are different each time, but they will unlock the same door. The end of this journey will lead to suffering, but if you do not face this, you cannot continue. This form, though it has not shown its true self, is evil. You will not see that unless you fight it. When your intentions become hazy, they will transpire into this world like a thick fog. You will know when it happens. It has already happened before. At that time, return to where the truth was reborn, to the heart of the forest. And like each time before it, Attempt to rewrite your fate. Will you be doomed to repeat this cycle over and over, or will you break it? Explore this world while you can, dreamer, until there is nothing left. Goody, right? Hello! Oh, that's cool, it's like painted on the wall. Oh, it brings me- Oh, it's just opening this, right, okay. Thought it was gonna teleport me someplace. Oh, whoa, that, oh, that brings you out here, huh? Well, that's a neat little fast travel. It shows you this and then, uh, spits you back out here. Well, let's go snag those keys and then see what it says. And then I suppose I'll do ever I'll try and do as much as I can around here before Black Space. So I'll try and track down some boss fights we haven't done, the Z, Y, and G keys, etc. Because once you go into Black Space, you never return to this headspace portion, right? So those keys would never, you'd never have the chance to find them again. Unless, of course, again, some of them are in, uh, Black Space, but I didn't think that was a thing. Not that I've, of course, ever gotten them all. So maybe you can't return to Humphrey after all that. Huh. Thought you could. I mean, that there was someone in Humphrey who genuinely told me, come back later, and there'll be something here. One key left, that's the T, and let's have a look into this hole. Right? Well, that was thoroughly entertaining. Let's get this one. <laughs> and now we have all the keys that reveal the message, welcome to Black Space. I wonder what happens if we go back into the little tunnel down here. Oh, and another hole event. Zero keys left. Welcome to Black Space. So we're still missing Z, Y, and G, right? Doink, doink, and... Uh... Doink. And whole event! There's a hole here! Let's go in! Yeehaw! Ah, always with the landing on the head. Well, there wasn't super hard thunk then. Ooh, we're in the spooky woods from, uh, from Black Space now. And what will we find here? These, are, these have been, like, shreds of Black Space, essentially. Stay away. You're not my son. Why? Why won't you fall? Why? Why won't you fall? Okay, 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 neat. Fun, good, right, uh huh, mm hmm, yeah, uh huh, we ha, uh, leaving now. Fun, fun chat, Dad. <laughs> hey, I did the thing you were talking about with the keys and such. I did have the thought, what if maybe one of the sweethearts fled to the snowy place in Otherworld, and that's why there's a key there, is like they'll drop it when you defeat them or something. I could be taking down two birds with one stone then. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, now doesn't nothing special seems to happen then. Anything happen if I go to white space at this point? Oh, interesting. I really want to know what happens then. There are a lot of interesting points where I feel like things could branch off in curious ways at this juncture. So in the on the path to the good ending, right uh, after you've had- uh, once you wake up in the hospital and things are basically just about alright, you could follow a little basil shadow or a shadow of your old friends. And I only ever followed the basil shadow. I never tried the old friends. That was just something that came to my mind anyway. Uh, what happens if we go to white space now? Oh, could we like do the light bulb thing now before we've even gone into the, uh, the, the basil's house? It's a little more energetic than normal, isn't it? Nah, it doesn't give you the option. <laughs> it's just one of those little cupboards down there now has an eye in it. I only just noticed that this doorway is being held up by two hands on either side. Oh no, they're snakes, never mind. I see. So we've basically done all that need to be done for the, the actual main story portion of this before we head to Black Space, which I will not be doing this episode. So I think it's time to... Oh, okay, the deep well finally got colored in. Look at that. So I guess it does require that you um get all the, the important keys from an area. So maybe... Uh, hmm. One way or the other, I'm gonna go doing some exploring, looking around for keys and stuff. 
and uh, maybe seeing about if uh, reach out and challenging that here an extra some extra boss fights we've we've now learned about and all Robo Heart, Mutant Heart, Perfect Heart, and Boss Man Hero. If we could get all four of those done in this episode and get all the keys, then I'd be very mighty pleased. I don't think you can uh, you can water the plants at this point, right? They're all toast. Yeah, it doesn't really nothing you can do. So at least we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh right, and Sweetheart's dead, so we could go check the thing in uh, other world. Oh, in uh, the castle. I nearly forgot since we skipped that cutscene. But I just want to pack, pop back to the end of the road here because I feel like the Z key was not all that hidden. We almost definitely found it before, did we not? I could have sworn it was, it wasn't like far from here. Like if it was anywhere, it was on like this screen, but like around a corner or something. It's a little darker than I remember. Or it was like in the back road right beside this portion. I could have sworn we found it, but I like, I liked it not to pick it up. In the previous playthrough or something. Or was it early on and around here? I'm totally not remembering now. I think I just explored every path there was when we came through here earlier this episode. Oh, face undead here. Wonk! <laughs> it's so funny if one of these times you whack it and someone just goes, Ow! What the hell? <laughs> it's just a talking face in the wall. Sounds like something this game would do. Oh, that means we wouldn't have talked to you earlier, doesn't it? No, we surely did. I guess we just missed the, the indent when I was here before. What a tool. Oh, incomplete. Empty house. I heard a rumor about an old empty house south of the playground. I wonder if it really is empty. <laughs> huh. Never did see that before. Let's turn to the resort and see if we can do that hero fight. Not a one Steam achievement in this episode just yet. If we're gonna have to, if we're about to do four secret bosses like I think we are, we're gonna get a whole bunch. <laughs> I have to imagine. And if we manage to find all the keys this episode as well, there's gotta be one for that. Oh, pool noodle. Yes, uh, thank you. I have enough money that that's not an issue. Hmm, well I thought there was something you could do with here or there. Maybe it's not now either. Maybe are there some of these things you can only do in the Hikikomori route? Because I guess in that route, on day three, you would still be in headspace normally? I'm not sure. Because from what I understand, if I go to black space right now, this is all over. We never return here. Which case, I would have, I will, I've missed my chance to do some of these optional things. Maybe I've missed my chance already somehow else. <laughs> this is the trouble with only having heard bits and pieces about such things. And why I would prefer not to hear anything at all before I sort of get into it. Otherwise, I, because I, I, then I, I trick myself into thinking I know more about it than I do. Oh, the bread twins are here. I'm afraid we have lost every single clan that we own. We are quite bad at this, aren't we, Biscuit? Oh, <laughs> that's a shame. At least you're free in other ways. Well, at the very least, one thing I'm almost 100 million percent confident we can do is Sweetheart's castle. Because she's definitely gone now. So if nothing else, that's a lead I can be pretty confident in. Hang on a minute. If I was right about my earlier guess that maybe Y is dropped by one of the Sweetheart clones, then maybe all three of the keys we're missing are, are held by the Sweetheart clones. That would be interesting. I have my doubts, though. You'd think they would have given me some sign that this, this person was just going to rocket off to this one snowy room. If that were a thing. But at the very least, we can be confident, I think, that... I guess I don't know for a fact that Sprout Mole Town doesn't get any brighter than that. But we can be confident that there is one we're missing in Otherworld, because that looks not colorful enough. So if there are any in Black Space, not all of them are in Black Space, either way. There's somewhere else I can go in, and something else I can do here. And again, you'd have to imagine that would be the snow. Barn still locked. It's a rusty old weather vane. I heard that the captain of the Space Pirates dropped off the face of Otherworld. Space Pirates must be in a panic again. There's always something new with them, isn't there? Hmm. And usually not in a good way. You know, this is something I'm... Uh, it's a brand new thought I'm having out of nowhere, but I think it's, it's cool how... Um, the whole dream world, like Headspace, has its own set of established rules, and, and, and in the... In, at least in Sunny's mind, is treated as like this real thing that is actually a world between worlds that has existed since the dawn of time or whatever that not only he has inhabited at one time or another, but because it's a dream and all, it's never quite clear just how much of that is reality and how much of that is just in his dream world. This is this is literal. I think that's very cool because I think either interpretation works and is interesting the more fantastical or, or the less fantastical interpretation. Were I to guess, I would say it was their intent that it be taken as literal, like this is an actual magical world that like people who like repress their emotions and guilt go to, and it manifests itself as a dream so you can pass it off as reality. But I think it can be interpreted either way, which is neat. Right, I'm finding absolutely nothing looking around in places. Uh, so either I'm looking really crappily or uh, <laughs> There's nothing there and we should just go to Pyrefly Forest where we can be pretty sure there is something there. At least end this episode with one achievement. Next episode's gonna be Black Space and... Uh, I don't know. What else?
maybe we'll bring it as far as real world day three. I don't know, that'll probably be pretty long. It might just be black space next episode and it might be a little on the shorter side. Where was that secret passage? Somewhere here-ish. In uncharted territory here. I want to be playing as a hero. Uh, sweetheart died of whale death. Are we ready to do something with this castle now? It will be interesting to see what you will make of this dwelling. She is dead. Alrighty, never mind. I misinterpreted that. I assumed when you died, that was like what was meant by that. Never mind. So I don't know what I'm doing there either. All right. So, so far mission failed on finding any of the three sweetheart clones, boss man, hero fight, or doing the keeper of the castle thing or the rest of the keys. Progress has not been swell, but you don't ever return to headspace once you go to black space, right? So this is my last opportunity to do all those things. Or so I thought. Because the chronology of events is you go down to black space, do the whole black space thing where you find all the keys that tell you, um, how. Oh, let me just pull up my own playthrough. You get to Basil's house and it brings you to this whole black space thing immediately. Which ends with Omori, you know, sort of taking control of the whole thing. But then you immediately wake up, right? And it's day three? Yeah. You chat with Hero for a bit, you go back to bed, and then it, you wake up in the morning. And then it's daytime stuff all the way until sleep over at Basil's, surely. Whereupon you find the whole truth out. Which point I panicked and went back home. Which, uh, you can't do anything but stab yourself here. There's no door for you to go to. And otherwise, it's the final fight. So there's no other time to return to headspace proper. So I've got no idea. There's all kinds of stuff I feel like I should be able to do right now that I can't. And this is, as far as I understand it, the last time you're here in headspace. So, unless it works a different way on another route or something. What could it mean when I have deemed she's found another home, if not her dying? How will she find another home now? Or maybe that wasn't actually a, any kind of quest marker, that was just a, uh, like, some flavor text? Because I have to imagine on the Hikikomori route, the, the dream world is a little different. Like, you probably stay there for longer and there's maybe, like, one or two more things you do here or something. So it could very well be that you just simply can't get all these on this route. Well, that seems a little odd. Mm. It's uh, the, the thing here is that I, I've got many things I still want to try that involve I that some of which I imagine would involve abandoning the good route here. So part of me is like I want to keep it all t tidy. I don't want to do anything like because I could go back into white space and you're able to stab yourself now and that could lead to something interesting happening. But I imagine if doing that now would maybe not be good for this route. And part of me is like, yeah, maybe. Maybe we just wait till we're doing a route where we're already messing stuff up anyway to try that. So I so I don't like get halfway into one route and then get confused about how much I've done sort of thing. Oh, interesting. It, it puts Molly, Medusa, and Marina as separate entries. When I was saying, made a flirty joke about Molly earlier, I meant Medusa, but it doesn't matter. They're all <laughs> similarly axe murdery. And all similarly attractive. You got mango smoothie. What? What, because I did it as Kel? Or... What was that about? It's odd, because if I were missing one key, say, but not some of these other bosses and stuff, I would imagine that it was just one path I hadn't taken, but considering the sheer volume of stuff that I know exists that I'm missing, what's more, the faux facts here. So I think this one is, is the Pluto fight we skipped. These three are probably the different sweetheart clones. This might be boss man hero. Not sure what this is. Or this. Because these are all in sort of boss fight territory. Or indeed this. Around here is probably a bunch of the bread enemies that we skipped by not doing the all the bread fights. In this particular file. So the way it looks to me is that there are a small handful of like secret bosses we're missing. Coupled with the three keys and the fact that I haven't completed the Keeper of the Castle thing. It's like I'm missing a whole world in here. We'll tell you what, since the amount of progress I made in this episode so far is basically a big fat zilch, may as well include Black Space as well, because I'm going to be shutting up for most of it as well, a lot of stuff we've already done, and maybe that will shed some light, ironically, on some of the things I've yet to understand here. To be clear, me complaining that I'm <laughs> belly aching about the fact that I haven't made any progress this episode is not me, uh, it's not a cry for help. I'll look up a guy when I... Dang, they all need it. I'm not quite at that point yet. I'll probably have a look through the Hikikomori route and some of the other bad endings and stuff before I go, assuming that there's nothing more I can do here. Because as I said before, many times, too many times probably now, there, there's probably a few things that only happen on certain routes. Secret bosses and such. No longer allowed to open either the Q or the W menu, which is not a great sign for the keys, any of the keys being hidden in here. I totally can't remember if there are any. Something is preventing you from getting any closer. 
Hmm. I know there was a snowy place with like a church or something at one point. That and the Zed one I could see as being uh, somewhere in black space. I don't know where I'd go looking for a beneath the trap door in black space. And of course the snowfield seems so much like Otherworld and we have Otherworld not fully colored in. But I digress and I repeat myself. Yeah, you know, some of these drawings is a little different. <laughs> sure I ever men met, met you bunch before. Dance, skin boy! You ring the bell, but it doesn't make a sound. This one makes a weird sound. I mentioned how cool I, this, I find this one before, right? This this area, the design of it, the way it's like roads, but then these sort of like sketchily drawn houses and stuff. I just really dig this aesthetic. It's like Don't Starve meets Humanity. <laughs> it's a, an unfortunate anthorned animal running in place. If anywhere in black space was going to be beyond the ro uh, end of the road, it would be here, I would have wagered. It's a fridge. Oh, there's a little doorbell noise when you ring knock on the doors as well. I never did go as far as actually cutting Mew open. I'm gonna not. <laughs> I don't see how that could be the ZY or G. I'm going to pretend there's it's not an option. Don't talk to me. Alright, which is my command. I can be that way. Toy gone. <laughs> Fun. TV. Game. Toy. Toy. Book. Toy. Cat. I also love this theme, by the way. Hmm. Dang, mirror is always breaking. Sunny, we're moving away. Great, that was all I needed to hear of that. It's through this door, I'm pretty sure, that the snowy place I was thinking of was. It's sort of like, there's a church on like a mountain. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely snowy, but I guess I wouldn't really call it a field. Let's have some frozen steak, why not? I'm doing a lot of clacking of knives and forks for a plate that didn't have a knife or a fork on it. I guess that was the steak clacking against it. Right, well, uh, this episode has gone by largely with no real progress made on the 100%ing front. I, perhaps I shouldn't say that, as ha even having the um, all the saves available now, even though if I didn't actually find what I was supposed to find at those times, I've got saves I can go back to that are in the middle of Humphrey, in the middle of Last Resort, etc. So later on, if I end up giving up on finding these things by myself and decide that I w I'm going to use a guide, and the guide says, you have to do this before the Jawsome fight or whatever, I have saves from, from all such times. So really, even making this kind of progress and, ha and building up the repository of save files is good progress in and of itself. But I'm sorry there was no big Eureka, aha, we've solved one of those long-standing puzzles and gotten an achievement in this episode. Next episode I'm thinking will be uh, Real World Day 3. And we ought to have, we gotta get at least one achievement there from clearing out some encounters I didn't do and stuff. You guys ever have a dream where, like, a younger version of yourself sits on a throne of hands and then, no, me neither, cool. So that's where this episode is going to end, friends. We made better progress in episodes before we made worse. Actually, no, probably this is the worst we've done in <laughs> one of these. For every other Omori EX, episode we've done so far has had at least one esteem achievement. I think this is the first time where one hasn't happened, but that was something I was prepared for earlier on. In fact, I expected it to happen much more frequently, so it could be worse. And I expect we're going to get some achievements uh, next episode in Real World Day 3. And at the end of World, Real World Day 3, so probably what I'm going to do then is the episode after Real World Day 3 is going to be getting the bad ending on... Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> getting the bad ending on the final boss where you say no to continuing, but then also getting... Whatever other weird ending happens if you leave Basil's house during the sleepover, which I almost did in the main playthrough. Well, I did and then just reloaded it. Next episode is Real World Day 3, doing as many quests and stuff as we can as we've been doing. After that is trying the bad ending and whatever other weird ending that other thing gets you. After which, I suppose we'll go back to the beginning and start playing the game through again, not opening the door and seeing what weird stuff that does for you. I don't know whether it'll be like the majority of the dream world is the same until the end if you've been doing d depending on which route you've done or if it'll be like the entire thing is different we're missing so many achievements that it kind of feels like the hikikomori route will which i assume is what i assume not opening the door is what people mean when they say the hikikomori route because a hikikomori is a, like a shut-in recluse type person we're missing such a volume of achievements that it almost seems like if you stayed in the whole time the world would be different enough that there would be 30 achievements worth of stuff to do how many are we actually missing 36 and of course at any time i could uh hover over um some of the rare ones and and you can click to show spoilers so i can do that anytime i want essentially 
What's the rarest one, percentage-wise? Oh, it's 1.6%. So, point being, I have the power to, um, uh, just to... Uh, I mean, obviously, they might not be the most useful hints, but I can check them when I want. I just would rather do as many story branches as we can before I go throwing my hands up and saying, I guess it's time to look at the... Look at the... Spoiler achievements. Just in case one of them very clearly is like, get the bad ending wherein, spoiler, spoiler. <laughs> so a little bit, a little bit of underwhelmation this episode, but hopefully I was able to be quiet through enough of it that you don't have to sit through too much of that. It was about three hours altogether for me. I'm doing a lot of wandering and so on after we cleared Humphrey. Uh, and that is all for now. Next week on the channel is going to be some more Super Mario Galaxy. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. Admiral's going to be out of here now. Peace! I'm already 20% down when you think about it like that. Basically almost there. I don't even need your spring. <laughs>